and welcome back. Um, I have a lot of new things to go over today. <laughs> There's some Endermen just chilling outside, and they're kind of freaking me out. Um, first off, biggest thing, I went and I got some levels at the, at the enchanting or at the uh, uh, the spider farm, which I have actually made better, and I'll go show you how to do that, how I did that. Um, and I got a silk touch pick, and I was so excited. Oh my god, the first thing, the first thing I did was grab a stack of grass blocks, because I'm going to want those, and, um, for something, eventually, I can guarantee you that at some point or another I'm going to need grass blocks, so, that's useful. <clears throat> now, second thing, which is probably the, the next biggest thing, is that down here I've got a little minecart track with my, um, metal, or my ores and coal chest thingy in here. And when I hop in this cart, it'll send me, and then once I go over that little pressure plate thing there, it'll send the other cart. And that comes along with me. And I end up over here in the new uh... this thing. <laughs> um, my smelting room thing. Uh, I showed that, I had that video of my, um, my smelting thing, and, uh, yeah, I've got them in here. Actually, you know, I could probably put two more, one there and one there, but I don't know if I will. Um, but yeah, so this is just to show you that this is on right now, because I've got some stuff in there. Um, and that, you heard some pistons go off when I get here, which is confusing me a little bit. I forget what I did with that. All right, okay, never mind. Hold on, I'm gonna go back downstairs for a second. I I went through several ways to try to get this to work. Um, you'll notice this little pressure plate right here. That right there is connected to a T flip flop underneath, which comes up to over here. And there, that was cows. Um, I thought there was a creeper. <coughs> Shut up. Um, there's two lights here. This one turns on when something is done smelting, and this one turns on when my cart is over here. So that way I can just look over here and see, oh, you know, my cart's here, and I have something to smelt, so I can then just run inside. Um, because if I leave my cart here and I run back to my house, then all of my stuff is here. Like, all of my diamonds and iron and coal and stuff is here, and I don't, and I can't get to it from over there. I mean, I guess I could run through the tunnel, but where's the fun in that? So, what I do is I come down here, I grab my iron, and I press the button, and then we'll run up to the top, and you will see that, oh, every time. Yeah, this one is now off. I mean, yeah, it was on for a second there, that's just because I pressed the button. Um, they do kind of interfere, but usually it's not that bad, because these are only really useful to me when I've left and gone somewhere else and come back, and need to see if there's anything at this place that I need. Um, because obviously if something's done smelting, I want to go grab it, and if my, uh, minecart is here, then that means I need to come here. If I'm going to my house, then I want to come in here and grab it first and bring it over there. So, um, when I come down here and hop back in the cart, we, when I go over that pressure plate, it sends the other cart. This is actually really difficult for me to, to set up. Um, I've gone through many different ways of trying to get it done. Um, originally I just had some wire behind this button that would send my cart and then that cart. Uh, but that didn't quite work because this... Okay, when, when I come up um, through here, I hit this pressure plate, which has wiring that comes down and activates this, and then activates that. But the way it was, it would activate this, so it would delay... Uh, so my cart would go first, and then I would hit that pressure plate and turn this so that it, it looped back around, and then this cart would send it, just fly back in. So I had to fix that, and um, I did that by hooking both up to this pressure plate, so that way it, it sends, it toggles this, then there's a four tick delay, and that turns on, which is enough time for this to turn off again. Um, I, don't, I don't really know why that's enough. It shouldn't be enough, I don't think, but it is, so, yay. Um, I've just got the torches underneath here, and come on over here, and this 
right here just comes straight forward and goes to this and then splits off uh, or well I should say it it splits off here one goes sideways one goes this way uh, the wire that goes this way comes over here and powers this and the one that comes this way um, toggles this thing so when my cart comes in I come in and I hit this and it del I believe it well, let's check oopsies ow yeah, okay, you can see it delays the signal so that when I hit the... <clears throat> there's a lot of underground stuff here, so I'm not going to mess with that too much. When I hit this, it delays the signal. I get here just fast enough to pass this before it switches, and then it switches back. But the other cart is slower than me, so when it hits this pressure plate, it comes over here and this switches before it gets here, so it goes off into there. And then on my way out, uh, like it also powers this whenever either cart goes over that pressure plate, but it doesn't actually do anything, because by the time this cart gets back over here, it's it's off again. Um, but on the way out, my cart comes out and hits this, which activates that, and it also changes the track so that uh, the cart can come out, which I actually didn't realize until just now. Oh, that worked out pretty well. I can't believe that just happened to work. Um, and then this goes down to a little piston T flip-flop down there, that just goes, runs underneath, and then runs up over to the, the thing, which is, I think, like, here? I think the front door is, like, somewhere around here. <clears throat> yeah, you can hear the cows are right there, so the front door should be, like, right above us. Uh, yeah. So that's how that works. And the wiring for the other things, I just, uh, I moved the wiring around a little bit so that I could pull the, the signal that goes to the light directly from the back of the mechanisms and then I just extended it out and connected them together and hooked it up to the one light there. So you can see now that my card is over here, so that light is off. And there's nothing in, in the furnaces, so that light is off. Okay, yeah, so that's that's two big changes. Um, next thing would be to go down and... Yes, uh, the... The spider spawner thingy. That's where we're going now. Um, I found out that, or I realized that when I was down waiting for things to spawn, I had to go down a lot. Like, I would have to, I would stand there for like five minutes and go down and kill all the spiders and then come back up, and I would have to do it every couple minutes or so, because if I didn't, then all of the spiders would just start piling up on the, up against the wall, like they would hit the wall and then climb up it. And they would just climb up the wall and they would all just stay up on the wall. And that wasn't really good because uh, they wouldn't obviously get into the little tunnel, and they wouldn't. Um, <laughs> I put this here so the light wouldn't come down because I now have glass down there just so I can see into it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so they wouldn't end up in the little water tunnel. So to fix that, I tried removing the. Um, well, first off, I tried removing all those fences. And, place, and replacing it with just solid blocks so that they wouldn't have the, um, that little, like, there was a little lip. If we come down here, um, which I did just, like, block off this entire platform here. Uh, if you come down here, there used to be a little lip. Um, okay, just die, just die. They do actually spawn, I think, if I'm standing here, so. But there used to be a little lip here where there was fences, so they would get stuck there and they wouldn't come through. So to fix that, I got rid of the, um, all the fences that were along this row here and the block above it. And that worked pretty well. Um, but then I was like, well, they're still tracking me though, so they're going to just come here and there's less space for them to fall in now. So it's going to be harder to get them in that that uh, water. So I was thinking about it and I realized that if I stand, if I come up here, I'm it, oh, right, I need to get another ladder for that. I keep forgetting. Um, this is all just so stuff doesn't spawn and then this torch is just to keep it lit a little bit in here so I can see. <clears throat> or, more specifically, so you guys can see. But if I stand up here, both of them can spawn, but they don't track me. So they just get pushed right down into the hole from the water, and then just float down in. S and once two spiders get down there, they press against each other, and they float up. Because whenever a spider comes into contact with a wall, like, not necessarily just touching a wall, but if they're moving towards the wall, and touching the wall, then they, they float up it. Kind of like with the ladders, like I'm touching the ladder, but I'm not going up it, but I'm moving into it now, so I'm going up it. But if there was another person next to me, like, pushing me into the ladder, then I would start going up the ladder. 
So the spiders just kind of do that, and they push themselves into the walls and, and float up. So when the spiders go in, they just float up that little hole down there and um, under the, the glass pane and just chill until I'm ready to go down. So now I can just sit here, and the spiders will just all, like every single spider goes in there, because they don't track me beyond, like, what, 16 blocks, I think? Maybe, maybe less than that. Um, it might be, like, 8 blocks, I'm not really sure. But they don't track me once they get down there, so they just stand there and just float on down. And, uh, yeah. So that, that works pretty well. So now I can just stand here and uh, let all my experience gather up and then just run down and kill them all. And this will be much quicker once I've got uh, a potion thing going on, which I think is going to be my next big thing, is that I need to make a potion room somewhere. Because I, I need potions, and I need, or I should say I need to make a nether room, and then I'll make a potion room. So you can hear them all dying, that's because they climbed up the wall when I got down there, and then fell off. <clears throat> So, and then they all pile up like that, and that was the problem before. And they, they'll eventually sort themselves out when I go down like that. They do usually line up on that wall, but they, like I said, eventually they'll sort themselves out. Um, that one seems to be bouncing back because there's none, uh, no other spiders pushing him in, but it'll be fine. Um, and you can see that they aren't still tracking me because I got far enough away, so. Yeah. Alright, let's come back up here. Yeah, I, re I realized, uh, I originally just covered that glass, and I was like, oh, look, that's nifty, I can see down in it, and I realized that it was all lit up, and I was like, oh, that's probably because the sunlight's coming in. So I just stuck that up there, and now the sunlight can't come through. And it works pretty well. Um, okay, so things that I want to get done are now, I now have, that I need a wheat farm. Um, that would be really useful, like an actual wheat farm. I mean, one that I can harvest automatically and everything. I do still need... TNT, so... Wow, five. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to enchant another pick, because I don't want to use that Silk Touch pick for just, like, anything. Well, I mean, I guess then again, I don't really need that much stuff from Silk Touch. I can go down and grab some diamond blocks and some redstone blocks. I was really hoping for a fortune pick, so I could get a bunch of diamonds. But, uh, that works too. That was level 48 enchantment, by the way. And I got efficiency 4, Silk Touch 1, and a breaking 3. So that should last me a really long time. Like, this pick lasted me quite a while. Well, it's the same thing, except it has Silk Touch on it. Um, but I've actually been using this pick, like, also as a shovel, because it digs dirt so quickly, compared to my Unbreaking 1 shovel, that I can just plow right through it, and it, it's fantastic. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, apparently I got an enchanted bow at some point. Um, I don't remember that. Now, let's stick that in here. I can just always just hop down here and throw my, my iron and stuff in there if I haven't already stuck it in there. Like, normally I'd just put it in the chest minecart over there. I love this so much, because now I can go mining, and then I have all of my stuff right here. I can just stick it all in, uh, like, empty out my inventory into there. Anything that isn't m ore stuff, I just stick in here. And then I can run back down, mine more stuff, come back up, do it again. And then once I'm full, I'll just grab all my stuff from here, and then hop down in my cart and ride over, put it all away, and smelt stuff, and then come back, mine more, come back up. It works great. I just gave you a thumbs up, but you can't see that, so that's cool. Um, let's see, what else can I use Silk Touch for? I guess for glass, if I ever need to get rid of a bunch of glass. Um, I don't really know why I would. I guess if I wanted to replace all that with glass panes, which I could do, but I don't think I will, just because it looks a little weird to have glass panes up that high to me. Like, there'd be a slight overhang, and it would just look a little odd, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it looks fine on the ground, because you can actually walk up to it, like I said, I think I said that before in a previous episode, but... I also like this railing that I made. I was worried because I wasn't going to have a full 2x2 two two platform up here, like I do down here. But it kind of worked out because these stairs give it an extra half block, so it's one and a half blocks. And I was worried that I wasn't going to like this being half of a, a thing, because obviously you know you can see that this half of the block isn't taken up by the the thing. But so I was thinking about putting like you know an, an ending to the rail or something, just stick a block like that so that it it would stop it, but I decided against it because I realized that, like this, it, it gives it two and a half blocks this way, where I've got one and a half blocks this way, so it's just a nice little transition to down the stairs, you know? Um, I mean, half the time I just hop over the thing anyway, but <laughs> still, um, I, th I think it looks nice. And I just shortened this little area here. Uh, basically, there was 
one row, like, one row like this, where there was a white on either end and dark in between, and, like, that between the glowstone and the bed, and then another one on this side, and I just removed those two. And it works pretty well. And actually, I don't know what the lighting is in this corner, so... 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Wow, okay, it's at 8, which is, like, the lowest it can get for it. Oh, why is that there? That, sh that shouldn't be there. I may need to put another glowstone in here, though. Because where's the nearest glowstone? I think it's right there, yeah. Um, that'd be like 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. And yeah, so down here needs a glowstone somewhere. Maybe I'll put one in the ceiling. Oh, that's too wide. Um, I don't really know where I'll put it. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out, I guess. <coughs> Maybe like right there. Or there. Maybe there. Because that would be right in a nice little place there. But yeah, so, um, I'm really liking my, my new house thing here. Actually, I'm almost out of food, man. I need to get that, that cow farm going. Let's run back over to the, um, <coughs> the other place. Even just the lighting in this place took me a little bit, because especially on those stairs, it took me like ten minutes just to figure out the lighting for those stairs. Because the one thing... The one uh, glowstone lights up a large portion of those stairs. Like, a surprisingly large portion of the stairs. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it was surprising. <coughs> I was expecting it to only cover up, like, you know, two. But then, once I, you know, once I went through and checked everything, I realized that it actually covered up a good five steps. Which just seems so ridiculous to me. Ugh, every time. Like I said, that button interferes with the lighting, but it... It really doesn't matter, because, I mean, I can still see which one is which and all that good stuff. Hi, cows. I have a few cows in here. Not too many. Um, I definitely need to make them a place that they can just go and uh, roam a little bit more. Oh, God, you're so loud and obnoxious. Um, let's put this wheat back. Nope. There we go. I have a bunch of wheat. I went and harvested it again because I was running out, actually. Got some redstone here. Uh, I used up a bunch of my redstone stuff doing that. Let's see, do I have anything else I want to put away? Doesn't look like it. Um, but yeah. So, I wanted to get something. I don't know what it was, though. So, oh well. But yeah, so that's that's my new stuff. It's all the, all the good stuff that I've made so far. Um, uh, is there anything else? Anything else? Um, I don't think so. Let's take one more ride. Because I love my whole system here. Like, I spent so much time working on this thing, too. I, spe I hate doing wiring like that. Like, all that wire there had to cross a good three or four times. Like, the wiring from the... Okay, those two lights actually cross, like... The light on the left has to come from both sides of the thing because it's the two smelters, and so they they had to I had to cross under with the one on the right and come over, but you can't go over because the over would be like directly in this in the floor of this place. So because there's one layer of floor like this and then one layer of stone for the ceiling underneath, so you couldn't go over. So I had to go under with that, and then I had to take the signal from the pressure plate with the cart and go under to bring it over to that side while there was still wires going under for the the track switcher. So that got a little annoying to be um, understating things. But it worked out pretty well. So, oh, the glowstone, that's what I wanted. But yeah, so now it all works fine. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Because, like I said, I can take my, my cart with me wherever I go. Oh, there's supposed to be a skeleton up there. And you can't actually walk into this tunnel, like, by yourself. I've got always glass in the way or something. So, uh, that's to just to prevent me from going in and messing things up. Like, I can't just walk across. I have to take the cart. Which is good, because sometimes I would probably walk across just without thinking about it if I didn't stop myself by, like, a wall. So, this forces me to take the cart. Um, let's grab a glowstone. We only need one. And then take the cart back. And the cart is much faster than walking. It may not seem like it, because it's it's a pretty short distance. But it is much, much faster than walking. Um, and it's going to save me a lot of time. 
because I do go back and forth a lot. Like you saw here, I went over there, dropped something off, came back, went back, grabbed something, came back. And I do that a lot, so... <clears throat> Especially when I'm building stuff. Uh, right, this was for... Down here. Where did it... Stop raining, okay? It just rained. I don't know what's going on. Like, the night before last, it rained. In Minecraft. Not, not like last night in real life, just last night in Minecraft. Oh yeah, let's stick it here. That works. That's all right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, I originally wanted to have this on both sides. Like, this is how I designed it in my redstone world. But, um, on the other side, I couldn't do that because, obviously, it it's... This one can come straight up against a wall, right? But, whoa, laggy lag. Laggy lag? Okay. Um, this one, there is no straight wall to come up against. So... I had to make a little area for me to come into, and then I thought, oh, you know, I'll have the cart come in on one side, and then the chest come in on the other, and I can just grab at them and stuff, and that'd be cool, and it is cool, so. Yeah. Anyway, I guess that's all. That's all. I, I, I like, merged it and all into one word, and it was like, all. Um, and, you know, my frame rate's tweaking out right now, so, wow. For some reason, the, um... Oh, and also, this, this cart lags behind quite a bit because it does go slower than me, and um, it goes significantly later than I do, <clears throat> which is good, especially when I'm coming back here, because when I get here, I have time to hop out and walk away, and then the cart can just come in, and I don't accidentally bump it. And on the other side, um, it, it gets there by the time I could walk around to it. Like, okay, one more time. I know I'm probably going to lag when I go through this tunnel again. Okay, I don't know. Maybe there's like a... a wor uh, not a world boundary, but a... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm going over chunk boundaries and stuff. Man, I think it's like being in the cart. But like, you can see I can walk over here and it gets here as I get here. So, it works really well. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if I think of anything else that I've done, then I'll probably just use it for next episode. Because this all this stuff here is probably like a total of a good 10 hours of work. Um, so, that's... That's why I haven't seen an LP in a couple days, because I've been working on all this stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy with how it's coming with how it's coming along so far. I want to put up some automated lighting in the, the mob spawner stuff so I can just turn it off and then turn it on. Um, so I can turn it off, run down, grab the experience, run back up, turn it on, and then that way the spiders won't pile up down at the bottom. I mean, eventually they sort themselves out, but it's still kind of annoying. So... Uh, and if I ever need to work on it or something, I can always just turn it off and then run down. Because, like I said, they do spawn. If I'm standing down on the bottom, like, where they drop to, they still spawn. So, uh, that would be a good way to make sure that doesn't happen. Um. And, um, yeah. Okay, that's all. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.